welcome aboard. Before we take off, we're going to give you an important safety briefing. So keep a sharp eye on the cabin crew or the screen in front of you. And together, we'll make sure that your journey is a safe one. Every aircraft is different, so it's important to pay attention even if you've flown with us before. Today, you're flying on a Qantas Airbus A380. Before we take off, make sure all your cabin baggage is stowed in the overhead locker or under the seat in front of you. All electronic devices must be completely powered off for takeoff and landing. Before you do so, ensure you disable cellular, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi capability by switching to flight mode and then turning off. Fasten your seatbelt by inserting the clasp into the buckle and tighten by pulling the strap. If you are seated in first, also ensure that your sash belt is in place for takeoff and landing. Undo your seatbelt by pressing the button. You must have your seatbelt done up low and tight, including infants and children, during takeoff, landing, and whenever the seatbelt sign is on. While seated at other times, we require that you keep your seatbelt fastened. And in the unlikely event of an emergency, it's important that you're familiar with the brace position appropriate to your seat. If you can reach the seat in front of you, brace by folding your arms on the back of the seat in front and rest your forehead on your arms. If you can't reach the seat in front of you, put your head on your knees or lean as far forward as you can and hold on to your legs. Keep your feet firmly on the floor to prevent them from moving forward. If you are seated in first, your brace position is to sit upright, place your hands on your knees and bring your chin towards your chest. Take a moment now to check where the nearest exits are in this aircraft as the cabin crew point them out. Be aware that your nearest exit may be behind you. A good way of remembering your nearest exit is to count the number of rows between you and that exit. Our cabin crew are pointing out the lights that show a path to the exit. This aircraft is fitted with escape slides and life rafts which the crew will operate in an emergency. If we do have to evacuate, you must leave all items carried onto the aircraft behind. A loss of oxygen at altitude may lead to a loss of consciousness. If emergency oxygen is required, a mask will drop from above you. Pull down on it firmly to activate the flow of oxygen. Put it on quickly and tighten the strap. Oxygen will flow without the bag inflating. Once you're breathing normally, it's okay to help others. Make sure you're familiar with the location and use of your life jacket. In economy, yours is under your seat. If you're in premium economy or first, it's inside your leg rest. If you're in business, it's next to your leg rest. Your crew member is now demonstrating how to put your life jacket on. Remove the life jacket from the pouch by pulling the tab. Slip the jacket over your head, pass the strap around your waist, clip the waist strap together at the front, then tighten. Your life jacket comes with a red tag and a mouthpiece for inflation, and a whistle and a light for attracting attention. And remember, only inflate your life jacket as you leave the aircraft. Take a moment now to look where your life jacket is located. If you're unsure, please ask the cabin crew. Smoking is a fire hazard and is not permitted anywhere on this aircraft. This includes the toilets, which are fitted with smoke detectors. In preparation for takeoff, ensure your seat is upright and your tray table is stowed. And just in case you've missed any of this, simply refer to our safety card located in your seat pocket. Remember, the cabin crew are here to look after you, so follow their instructions at all times. Now settle back and enjoy your Qantas flight. Please read the health and safety information in the onboard information section of Qantas The Australian Way magazine. This section will help to make your flight more comfortable. It also details important information on deep vein thrombosis or DVT, precautions you can take and recommended exercises.